So now with this first Packers playoff game upon us, I think it's crazy to sort of look back at what's happened this season. Starting off with the offseason, coming into training camp, I remember we didn't know if Aaron Rodgers was going to show up, if he wasn't going to show up because of everything that happened in the entire offseason. And I remember, you know, sitting in my room that day when, um, you know, I was constantly checking updates, waiting and seeing, is Aaron Rodgers going to show up, show up to the facility? Are we going to have Aaron Rodgers this year? Because it's crazy to look back and think that we honestly weren't sure whether or not Aaron Rodgers was going to be the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. We were thinking, okay, if he doesn't show up, does that mean Jordan Love is going to be quarterback? And obviously, we've come a long way since then. Of course, Aaron Rodgers showed up to training camp, and that was definitely nice to see, um, to have Aaron Rodgers, you know, arriving there, giving us hope for the future, uh, at least of this season. And of course, now at this point, we don't exactly know what the future holds, but right now, the Packers are in a very, very good position. They've gotten, you know, exactly where they need to be so far, but clearly, you know, when we look back at this season, obviously, we've overcome so much adversity when it comes to injuries, Over overcoming injuries to Jair Alexander, to Darius Smith. I mean, I can go on and on and on with all the injuries the Packers have suffered. And still, regardless of those injuries, the Packers have been able to come away, be the number one seed, have home field advantage. And clearly, there's still lots of work to do because, you know, losing the past two NFC championships, I think the only... Um, ultimate success for the Packers is to win the Super Bowl. Obviously, every team has that hope and has that desire. But I think when you look at this Packers team that has been there to the NFC Championship the past couple of years, clearly that's the one hump we need to get over. So even though, you know, maybe some younger teams who, you know, don't have as much experience in the playoffs, um, they obviously still, everyone wants to win the Super Bowl. But I think it maybe hurts a little less for them when they lose because they're like, okay, well, at least we came farther than we did last year. But for the Packers, they got to win the Super Bowl to, I think, be happy um, with sort of how their season turned out in the long run, obviously, we can look back at this season regardless of what happens in the playoffs and, you know, be grateful for all the great moments we got to see with Aaron Rodgers here. But I think now coming into this game versus the 49ers, you know, the Packers, this season at least, we get to have lots of fans in the stadium coming up this Saturday, coming up for the rest of the playoffs. Last year, the Packers did have that home field advantage, but without, you know, fans being there in the stadium, I think there was maybe, maybe it was like 6,000 or something, but clearly... Having lots, tens of thousands, 80,000 plus, whatever number it is, fans, Packers fans in Green Bay for this game and hopefully the NFC Championship game as well, I think is going to make a big difference because clearly, um, you know, the Packers, I think, run off that kind of energy to start off. And as I sort of mentioned in the preview video, sort of previewing the Packers versus 49ers game, um, I think a big thing is clearly to get off to a hot, a fast start because there have been lots of games this season for the Packers where... They sort of started off slow, and I think that that's sort of the the one way the Packers could lose this game is, you know, if the Packers start off slow, can't get things going, and the 49ers come in are able to dictate the game, are able to run the ball, because I think that is their strong suit, is their ability to run the ball. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is an okay quarterback, but clearly I think their running game is sort of what gets things going for them. So I think with the fans, though, being there in Green Bay, everyone being loud, everyone being excited, I do think that the Packers will get off to a fast start, and I just hope that they just continue to... Um, you know, put up points throughout the game because there have been lots of games as well where we've been up by a couple scores, but then the other team slowly comes back. So we got to keep our foot on the gas pedal, got to keep moving forward. Um, but it's definitely been a very, very fun season, a fun journey so far this year. And uh, it's been fun getting to cover the Packers, getting to go over all the news and all the things um, on this channel. I really do enjoy it. But hopefully things end well. I really do think they will. Um, first off, of course, we have this matchup versus the 49ers. So I will be going to that game. If you guys want to see sort of what's going on there, I'll be doing uh, Instagram stories while I'm at the game. So if you want to see that, my Instagram is LukeBeller3. Also linked in the description down below. But I do appreciate all you guys very, very much. I hope you guys have a great time watching the game this weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next video.